I washed my hair for the first time in like a week. And so it's got this like weird flippy thing. So I need to take my straightener and then do Velcro curlers, but we're not doing that right now. Right now we are just finishing getting ready. I just did my contour, my highlight, my main shade, and some blush that I'm not really crazy about. So we're gonna tone it down with some setting powder if I can find it. Ha, right there. Vanilla dust setting powder. So what I'm gonna do is just take the end of my 3D brush tap it in or swiggle it in and just mattify it down. The setting powder is mattifying, so it will calm it down a little bit. Also, the redness is not just because the color is called baby watermelon, but because I am still hot from working out and I'm also cold because it's like 30 degrees outside in May. Awesome. This is my life in New York. Maybe I should move. What do you think? Should I move? Yeah, I think I should move. I doubt we will. That's neither here nor there. It's giving like a heart shaped vibe and I really don't like it, but we'll keep going with it. I'm gonna put some bronzer on because I feel like it needs to be a little bit more tan because I'm cold. So I feel like I need tan. And I took my bronzer out of my palette and put it in somewhere else because I put a different color lip and cheek in and now I can't find my bronzer and oh, life, right? Nope, that's a contour, aha, bronzer, got it. So we're just gonna, bronzer is to warm up the face. I read something, I forget where, if it was Instagram, TikTok, social media, or if it was just like a, I already put blush on, that was dumb. Oh, let's just warm up that contour. Maybe the blush will tone down the, the bronzer will tone down the blush. Anyway, let's try that. Not really. I read something that it said, you need to see something at least 25 times before you commit or before you decide to go and do it. And it made me think. Of so I read somewhere that you have to see something at least 25 times before you actually like commit to it. And it made me think of like, is that true? Who came up with this? And then I thought, well, maybe, yeah, because I read somebody else posted like a testimonial of something that said I had been following since August. And then I finally committed to asking and reaching out in December. I was like, August, September, October, November, December. That's like five months of work or watching and doing. And I, don't, I just, that boggled my mind. Five months of, of just researching and thinking and debating and going back and forth. Like, why do we do this to ourselves? I get it. I do. I, I am one of those people that uh, hems and haws over a decision and will research for months and yes i was kind of in the same boat within the context of what that person was talking about i did the same thing i watched for months and then i finally said that's a long time to make a do your research but i get it because you are spending time effort energy and money like you're spending your hard-earned money on something you obviously want the results that you're looking for right which makes sense i mean 111 dollars is a lot of money on makeup but when you're especially when you're new, like you don't really know if it's gonna work on you or not. So watching for five and a half months, I get that. I, I was in that boat because I stopped wearing makeup for the longest time during pandemic because why not, right? I lived in New York, so the mask, you know, and there's only so much eyeshadow that you can wear without getting exhausted. And during COVID, I basically wore glasses all the time anyway, so it didn't really matter to me. But when I picked up makeup again, and I started spending all this money, I was like, there has to be an easier way. There has to be a cheaper way because every time I'd step foot on into Ulta or even just look at the Ulta website or Sephora, oof. All right, my straightener warmed up. We've got one in, I'm gonna do the rest as I keep going, as the transcription goes on or while I'm doing that. Anyway, so what I learned was that makeup doesn't have to be a lot. Like it doesn't have to be as overwhelming as we make it out to be. I think with YouTube and everything, we got lost in translation of, oh my God, we have to look like all the teenagers that are doing all the crazy makeup. And then with COVID, everybody was learning on YouTube and all these, we basically, there was no, for me at least, there wasn't a space where uh, a mom or a person my age who had my kind of skin or my age to do normal makeup because I wasn't, I love Jaclyn Hill and I've been watching her for the beginning, but she evolved into this glamazon that I'm like, I am not that, my, our lives are completely different. Please be somewhat relatable. So all my favorites, 
now we've got two. All my favorite people were gone and I was kind of disappointed because I was like, well, who's gonna teach me how to do makeup now? Then I discovered this viral makeup that everybody seemed to, you know, it's like the toaster situation all over again. It was all over my feed and I kept watching. This was about December of 2020, well, what year was last year? 2021, so December of 2021. I followed, I was looking for easy hair tips and one thing led to another and then all these women who had the hair that I liked and the cute braids and all the things that I liked were had the same similar makeup and some of them posted videos of the makeup and some of them didn't. And I was like, this is different. And I was nervous because I'm like, oh God, how much is this all gonna cost? Because when you like something, you're the first thing is like, how much is it gonna cost? Or, oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to look like that or afford that or do it. Right, is it just me or am I the only one that's like, oh God, I'm gonna invest in something and then I'm gonna hate it or God only knows what's gonna happen next, you know, kind of thing. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep watching. And then in about April, I got really hooked into this one girl and I was like, okay, she seems to be doing this live or like on her stories. And I thought, that's pretty neat how she's so relatable. Like I definitely understood where she's coming from and all of that. Then I said, you know what? I might as well just ask because it doesn't hurt to ask. And then if you don't like it or if it costs too much for your budget, then you just don't do it. And so I said, okay, I'm just gonna ask. And I asked and I'm glad I did because it really wasn't as expensive as I thought. Yeah, I bought eight colors instead of the four. And yeah, I bought two extra brushes instead of just the one. So I did spend a little bit more, but I knew that like it was an so now I'm even saving money because these colors are lasting longer than I expected them to. And you know, a little does go a long way. And it's impressive. I've definitely honed my skills a little bit better. You know, I'm trying to highlight and contour and bake and cake and I don't know all these terms. I did at one point and I got overwhelmed, you know, when like, who's that guy? Whoever did Kim Kardashian's makeup when they first started the whole highlighting contour. I was sucked into that and you know how much money I wasted waiting in line on the internet or waiting in line at Sephora and Ulta just to get the new palette that had launched. What was I thinking? I wasn't. I was too young and naive to realize that this is all gonna pass. And then, you know, when this came along on my feed all the time, I thought, okay, there's something to this. A lot of people are doing it and it's not just the same three people. So with my new life motto of, you know, doing it scared or don't do it at all, I figured if they can do it, I can do it. Because you know how many times in life I've missed out or we've all missed out and we've said, no, that's not for me or whatnot. Just take that leap of faith. Like it's exhausting to live the way of like debating and doing, just ask, just start, just like, what are we waiting for? We're not gonna wait for the makeup fairies or like the hair fairies to just say, oh look, here you go, like sprinkle it on, like bippity bobbity boo. You can tell what movie we've been watching on repeat in my house. But it, it just, just do it. Like why are we, what are we holding back? Doing it scared? I, I, I'm engaging with a conversation on, with people um, in a group chat and we were talking about doing it scared and what does that mean? And for me, I was like, well, look at my Instagram. I'm just going for it. I don't care, just do it. So if you've been watching for months or debating something for months, like that toaster, I keep going back to a toaster, but just do it. Like what, why? What else does the universe need to send you to say, just go and do it? You know how many times my parents, even my husband are like, just stop debating it and just do it. So this whole just doing it motto has taken me into things that I haven't done before. Like I've been following people on Instagram and now I'm actually DMing them and asking them, how did they do it? And years ago, Claire would not have done that. Years ago, Claire would have sat on the sidelines, but with just do it scared, Claire, something that mindset shift has changed and opened up a world of possibilities. So what I'm telling you today is if you've been watching something or have been debating something, just do it scared because you never know where you'll be in a year from now.